why don't we start with gonna drip or drown too um dave can you give me a little bit of background on gonna um yeah gonna actually had a pretty quick rise um really started to get a lot of attention at the beginning of 2018 with drip season three which is as the name suggests only his third tape or fourth tape and uh the song Sold Out Dates got a lot of love. And if you listen to Dripper Drown 2, you probably get a sense of what Gunna is. He's a Atlanta trap artist um, in the vein of Young Thug. He's actually signed the Thug, which is very ironic. And blew up uh, more at the end of last year when his little baby cloud of project Drip Harder came out. That album did like 120 first week. Was a huge streamer. Drip uh, the title track, uh, or a drip, drip too hard, uh, was the big hit off that, and yeah, he just kind of rose quickly to the stature of Little Baby almost. And Dripper Drown Two is predicted to sell like eighty thousand first week, which is kind of unexpected, but that's quite a lot for just another mixtape of his. Um, it kind of speaks to how many people are actually checking him out. Um, and I've never been too much of a fan. And that certainly hasn't changed after listening to Dripper Trout too. I don't know about you. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not very familiar with him, but I gave this uh, a listen, and I nothing really stood out to me. It seemed to be just kind of very uh, homogeneous throughout, and uh, especially just the energy level didn't really ever seem to like jump out to me. Um, you know, we're about to talk about Little Pump in a second, and for us, um, I think. I think Gunner's a lot better technically than Pump, but um, I think that what Pump brings on his albums is this sense of excitement and fun, and even if it's ignorant and stupid, it at least like gets you moving sometimes. Um, yeah. <laughs> and Gunner just kind of kept me at baseline the whole time. I feel like I never really got going in one direction or the other. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I think it's weird because like there was the fun that meme, the Shaq meme going around about him being way better on his features, and um, he had that <laughs> one feature on Metro's song that actually I think you know is pretty good. It's just weird because he definitely brings more energy when it's the only song you're hearing on the project of his when it's feature. But yeah, on on this, it's just it's like I think it starts off decent, but then like the beats just get really blasé and. The verses feel samey, and it's like, all right, well, I've, I've heard all this before. It's not like he's gonna enlighten me about anything. And if there's not enough energy, the beats aren't that cool. What am I really listening for? And like, I've never been like the biggest little baby fan either. But after listening to this and catching up on all little baby stuff recently, I gotta say, I think little baby's way more interesting. Um, and yet, they're both less interesting than Thug which is the weird thing because like these guys are like selling more than young thug when they're clearly just his offspring when it comes to like what they do in rap. Um, mm -hmm. It's kind of disappointing because I think thugs way more interesting, but yeah, I, I think dripper drown Two definitely uh skippable. I mean, even if you're a big gun, of fan, I, it, this has to feel disappointing. I, I don't know like what the big hit's supposed to be off this. Yeah. I mean, just looking at Spotify, I guess one call and speed it up seem to be the, the songs if, Jumped out off of this. Um, yeah. I don't know the Outstandings on Rap Caviar right now. Um, take that as what you will. <laughs> um, yeah. It, but the thing is, he, he's got he's got a hive, man. Uh, he's uh, His sales are comparable to Offset's after this weekend. Pretty crazy, considering yeah. Offset is in an established group like Migos. Um, so uh, I think... I think Gunna can probably uh, bounce back and have a much better effort. I think this is just just fell flat, and sometimes that happens.